Hello guys, this is Maria and welcome back to my channel. Today's tutorial is a very simple one. I'm going to show you three ways to create ice cream cones. Let's start with the materials that you're going to need for this tutorial. First, obviously your piece of clay in a tan tone. Uh, also, you're going to need a rolling tool, a brush, it has to be a very soft one, and a blade. You can use any one that you like. Also, you will need your chalk pastels for shading. And you're going to need a round cookie cutter. This is a three quarters of an inch cutter. And for the texture, I am going to use these texture sheets um, with a square pattern. And also you're going to need a little bit of coarse touch. And finally, for one of the projects, I am using a mold. This is a custom made mold that you can find in my Etsy shop. And I'm going to leave you the link in the comments below. So let's start with the easiest one. I am using my mold and all I have to do is to condition my clay between my fingers as usual. And then I'm going to give it this teardrop shape. Once I have this shape, I am going to put it into my mold and make a little pressure just to be sure that all the texture it's going to be transferred to the clay. So now that I think it's ready, all I have to do is to release the pressure and open my mold to take the clay out of it. And uh, as you can see, it's really easy to release and all the texture is transferred to the clay and you have your cone. Now, before going to the second technique, I want to show you how to make your own texture sheet. So as you can see, I have a small piece of clay. This is scrap clay and I am going to flatten it until I have um, a very nice thickness. And then I am going to create the square powder using an old card and uh, all you need to do is to create lines and then crossing lines just to create a square pattern. One thing to consider is that you have to try your best to create even lines so this square pattern looks kind of you know neat and uh, what you want to do next is to cut the edges and uh, then you're going to bake it for uh, 10 or 15 minutes to create your own texture sheet. Remember, after baking it, you can buffer it a little if you see any details, and that's it. It's ready, so now we can continue with the second technique. For this one, we're going to use our texture sheet. First, you need to flatten your clay as usual, and then you're going to put a little bit of cornstarch in your clay. Remember, every time that you condition your clay, it gets a little sticky by doing this you will easily remove your texture sheet when you have the desired finish. And then all you have to do is to press your homemade texture sheet into your clay just to transfer the pattern to it. Now I remove my texture sheet and as you can see, it was really, really easy. And now I have this beautiful square pattern. What I'm going to do now is to use my cookie cutter and I am going to cut a circle from the best part of the clay. Then I'm going to grab this circle piece and I'm going to create the cone shape by doing it like this. You can help you out with uh, the back of a brush or any tool that you have that is uh, small enough to fit into this cone shape. And uh, this is it, this is basically it. See how easy it was just to give the shape by twisting the circle shape. For the third cone, I'm doing the same that I did before, but I'm using my Mackins texture sheet. I also cut it a circle and then I twisted and gave it this very nice cone shape. Now it's time to give it a more realistic look to these cones and for that I am using my own mix of chalk pastels. 
uh, with a brush, first you need to grab just a little bit of the lighter color and that's going to be the base color. Remember that you have to work your brush very gently and you have to use a very, very soft brush. Those are the keys to keep the texture in your cones. Once you're finished, all you have to do is to create more details, adding the darkest shade. This is going to give it the baked look that we were looking for. Now that I'm done with this first one, I just want to show you the difference between this and the ones that haven't been retouched yet. And I am going to keep working on the two other cones. And then all you need to do is to bake them for about 10 minutes and that's it. You will have your ice cream cones ready to become beautiful charms anytime you want. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you can subscribe, share this video, and if you have any comments, just leave them below. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I hope to see you again. Bye-bye.